Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel of Bass Box and Outdoors. Today we got this box in and this is uh, some stuff that I ordered from the good old tackle warehouse. So anyway, we're going to be checking out this bad boy and see what all we got because I really don't remember what all I ordered. But anyways, that's why we got y'all here so we can all look at this stuff together i want to say thank y'all for uh watching the channel and uh subscribing and all that good stuff be sure to hit that thumbs up like the channel that way it gets out to new audience and stuff like that that way we can get the channel on up there but anyways uh let's dive in on this box and uh find out what we got like I said, I forgot what I done ordered. That's always a good thing. All I know is it said it weighed three pounds, so I'm gonna take a look at that. We so we got some paper. I mean, why not? We always need more paper. And then we got our little tackle warehouse stuff. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, let's dig into this. Hey, we even got a tackle warehouse sticker. Can't ever go wrong with stickers, man. Uh, so anyways, we're just gonna grab what is on top. All right, so we got some uh, Nicholas Lures Champion Choice. These right here are called trailblazer uh eight count i guess the color is florida hammer let's check these bad boys out oh okay i remember what these are now these are really cool looking little dudes right here but anyways you can see they're flat and uh you know, it's like a double-tailed grub-looking thing with the ends cut off. Kind of like a stop sign, hexagon, or whatever you call it. Thing. But, anyways, really neat color. It's like a June bug uh, with some orange and stuff in it. And, anyways, it's got all these little ribs on them arms. Which means it's going to catch a lot of water. Uh... I ain't never fished with these. Uh, I don't think I've ever fished with any nickel lures, soft plastics, or whatever. I think they make like swim jigs and stuff. I know I got a couple of them, and like the spinner bait. Uh, I think that's the same company. But anyway, we got some of them. Oh, cool! These are cool. Next up, these are the six cents. Uh, what are these? The Stroker Crawl. These are the 2.4 inch Mexican Spice. Anyway, these are 8 pack. Eight Mexican Spice is the color. And it's basically a, uh, uh, what is it? A watermelon chartreuse or green pumpkin chartreuse. But anyways, I bought these because you can use them on a Ned Rig or even like a Finesse Jig. But look how teeny tiny them things are. I mean, these things are teeny tiny. Wow. But, anyways, I thought that was ultra cool. These things are teeny tiny. I mean, about the size of my thumb, I guess. And, anyways, they come from Six Cents. And, like I said, you get eight of them. And, I think they were only like $3 or something. But, uh, yeah, anyways, neat looking little dudes. I, ain't, I know those ain't new, but uh, I thought that was pretty cool. All right, next up, we got some Jackal Sakotsky Crawls. Uh, I've gotten these before, and they were the 4-inch. Well, they had the 5-inch on sale, 
and these are in watermelon red flakes so I got the five inch and these are a crawl and look at them bad boys I mean this thing is pretty big big deal but anyways I was thinking maybe you could rig that weightless and just toss it out there and kind of just let it fall through the water and uh, of course you know you can rig it up on a Texas rig but anyways I thought that'd be kind of cool especially where I fish there's a lot of grass and stuff so I figured it kind of going weightless and once again it's got that that squid smell that jackal uses but not too bad uh what is it a five pack yeah so it's a five pack of five inch and they had those on sale for like 2.99 or something like that next up these are castaic uh, these are called the C-Fin CBT-3, and this one's in the black and blue color, and, uh, it's uh, like a Ned Rig worm, it's almost like the Spro, I forgot what they call it, but anyways, it's like a little Spro tail Ned Rig, and these are made out of some kind of elastic material, which I thought was really cool. Uh, but you can see this thing's got like all kinds of ridges and stuff in it. It's got like, uh, you know, it's almost kind of like the design of the six cent clout. Except on the end, there's a little like spade or diamond or whatever you want to call that little thing. But anyway, it's real pointy. And, uh. I don't know why they call this black and blue because it's actually almost like a uh, smoky gray instead of a black. I mean, y'all can see that. It's not black at all. Uh, I can see through the plastic and there's blue flakes. I think they messed up on the color. I don't think I ordered black and blue anyways. But anyways, them are from Castaic and uh, they had those on sale. Or like, I want to say it was $2.99 or something like that. But anyways, you get eight of them. Yeah, you get eight of them. And I thought that was really cool. Because they kind of remind me of that Spro Ned Rig bait they got. That's got the little tail on it that's kind of weird looking. Uh, next up, we got some 13 Fishing Wobble Crawl. And this is uh, four and a quarter inches long. Weighs five sixteenths of an ounce, and this is in the color of Boss Nugget. And once again, everything that I bought today was pretty much on sale, and they had a really good sale on it. And I have a bunch of these, but I do not have this color. And I noticed that they changed the packaging on this, which is really good because their packages normally come like this with a huge clamshell in it, and it's just crazy on how big they are but anyways here's this wobble crawl and you see that color that color is really crazy I like that color and anyways you got these little rabbit ears and uh, it's kind of hollow and uh, so anyways you might stick a rattle down in there uh, it stands up pretty good got a lot of kicking action uh, but yeah, really good bait. Like I said, throw that thing on a Texas rig. It really works well on a weighted belly hook. Like what you would put a swim bait on. So you might, if you, if you got these, or if you get them and you're going to try them, try them on a weighted belly hook. They swim really well. But I like that new packaging that they got going on with the clamshells. That's a lot more... Uh, suitable for people instead of having you know giant clamshells oh yeah I've been waiting on these so uh, anyways they had Chase Bait the flaccid shed and this is in milk 
flash. This is four and a quarter inches long, uh, six count, and these are soft, life light, double scented, and salted. I've been waiting to get my hands on these since they come out, but man, I don't like paying the price for them. So I waited for them, and they went on sale. They had a huge sale on their chase baits. But uh, check this dude out. I mean, that dude is just ribbed, and then you got this film that comes around. Look at them eyeballs. Got the mean eyes. But anyways, you know, I don't fish with white or the clear colors very much, and I have a lot of people to tell me that I need to start using white more often, or at least give it a try. Uh... You know, when I was growing up, I always used to fish with the little white curly tail grubs. And, you know, I caught a lot of fish on them things. But as I got older, I kind of shifted away from white and started going to more natural colors. Or if I was going to use a bright color, it would be like chartreuse or something like that. But anyways, I, I've gotten away from white. I know how well it can work. So anyways, I figured I'd get these and give them a shot. But... Anyways, take a look at that little dude. Got the belly slot hook. Got the little hook slot for the top. But all in all, man, I think that thing's going to be a killer bait. I mean, that is just something like you've never seen before. That is crazy. And they used the same stuff that they used like on their, uh, I forgot what they call it, but like the love bug and stuff like that. So it's really a cool, I know the action that you get out of them, so if you get the same action out of them as you do, out of this as you do on them, this thing's going to swim through the water really well. And it says you can Carolina rig it, Texas rig it, jig, uh, jig trailer, punch shot, that is really cool, I like how... You know, more packaging should do that. They should give you, like, an idea of how to use it. Because, you know, not everybody knows how to fish stuff like that, you know. And somebody might buy it and be like, well, how do I use it? Or, you know, or what are other ways can I use it? Because, you know, you can throw this on a jig head. You can throw it on the back of a chatterbait. I'm going to put a weighted belly hook on it or a jig head. And I'm going to run that thing through the water. But anyways, that thing looks really cool. I like that milk flash color. Oh, that's probably my favorite bait so far. I really like that. Alright, next up, I got two packs of these. These were on, so I was really looking forward to these. These are the Jackal 5.5 Ammo Amomo Ammonite Shed. But you can see how big these bad boys are and uh, comes in a unique package and anyways this is uh, the green green pumpkin watermelon and they're five and a half inches long and I'm gonna try to get into this all right let me remove these staples real quick I hate when they staple stuff up But, anyways, they come with a staple on them to hold, hold them together. Get that staple out of there. And, uh, not too bad. So check this little dude out. Well, little dude, but anyways, he's a big dude. But look at these different sections in it. You got that big boot tail. It's kind of like flat, but not really. It's like flat on top and rounded on the bottom. You got your hook slot. Then you got your hook slot on the top, which means that hook going to lay right in that groove. And be really weedless. So I would look for this thing to come through the water really well. You know, Texas rigged or on a belly weighted hook. 
or I mean you could probably try it on the back of a very big uh, you know jig or something like that a swim jig but you would like probably have to cut it down a little bit but anyways this ain't what that's made for it's made to be swam through the water I think anytime you get up to like those five inches that are like this they're gonna be made to be swam through the water and stuff so anyways really unique and once again from Jackal uh, can't go wrong with that and like I said, I got two packages, same color. They were on sale. Couldn't beat that. Next up, we got the new uh, Savage Gear 3-inch Ned Rig. This is the Dragon Tail Slug. Uh, my buddy Neil Bone, he sent me a pack of these. And uh, Chartreuse and Green Pumpkin or something like that. So I went back and got another pack of them. Uh, these, this color is called Greeny, and they make these in a bunch of different sizes now, so just something to consider. You don't have to get the Ned size. They originally come in a 6 inch, and then they downsized to this Ned rig, and they made this thing hard to, God bless, they fitted that thing in there. Anyways, you see it comes in a little old clamshell. And uh, we'll get one of these bad boys out. And this one, I mean, you can see it's got a bunch of little ribs on it. And it's made out of their Duratec. But anyways, really cool looking little bait. I like it. I've been fishing with it quite a bit this year, but I ain't had no luck off of it. That was another thing, so I was like, well, I'll get a different color and try that out have a, before I gave a review on what I thought about them. Because I don't want to give you a review on a bait that I haven't tried in multiple colors or tried to catch them in multiple ways or something like that, in my opinion. Uh, so anyways... I picked up another one. This one's more of a shed color, and I think it'll work a little bit better for the type of water that I'm in right now. That chartreuse and stuff will come whenever that dirtier water hits. But anyways, so that's a greeny three inch, and like I said, now they make the dragon tails in like three or four different sizes. They make them in the soft plastic and in this Duratec. So. Uh, that's something else to consider whenever you go to buy them. Make sure, you know, if you want the Duratec, you buy the Ned Rigs. It says Ned. If you don't, then buy the other one and you'll get the soft plastics. This is something else I'm really excited about. So we got the Savage Gear Structure Gill. And the reason I'm really excited about this because this is uh, the 4-inch. And the ones I've been getting from ta uh, from Shop Carl's is like three inch, I think, or something like that. But anyway, three, four, seven ounce. And uh, this one's in white gill. So, anyways, I was dying to get my hands on the bigger the bigger version of it because the little ones they're good and all, but you know I, I still would like a five or six inch. And uh, so the biggest one they make is a four inch. So I went back. So I went to Tackle Warehouse and picked up one. So anyways, here this big boy is. Now that looks more suitable size to me. And of course you got that big old hook down in there. But check that out. You got that solid white belly. And basically, to me, it almost looks like a crappie. Uh, but yeah, really excited to try that out. Because like I said the other day when I was fishing the Z-Man uh, Hercules, uh, I went to fishing this, just kind of swimming it through the water. And I've got to say, these things swim through the water really well. At least the small ones do. I haven't got to try this big one yet, but I would imagine it's going to swim the same way. So, I imagine this thing right here is going to catch a fish or two. 
And like I said, this one's called White Gill. Four inch, three fourths of an ounce. Really looking forward to that. Next up, this one is from Dual Hardcore. This is the Noisy Junior 85, uh, which is uh, three and three eighths inches long, weighs seven eighths of an ounce, and the color is Skeleton AU. I was really surprised that they had this on sale too, as well, for like seven or eight dollars. Uh, normally, I think they run like $18.99 or $20 or something, but anyways, check that bad boy out. And it's segmented, got the prop, got the lip, and like I said, it's a weight bait. And it's just got like a little yellow hue to it with a green head and uh the white bottom my buddy uh neil bone once again he sent me one of these earlier this year and it was in an, a bluegill color which i really liked and i went in out and tried it out and i liked the action on it so i went ahead and bought me another one while they were still on sale because they had come through the water really well and they got a lot of good action on them and then last but not least, this is a bait I've been hearing a lot of rave about, so I had to get a pack of them. I'm going to try them out. The Thunderhawk Grenade. Uh, this one's in gray shed. Like I said, that smoky gray color seems to really work around here quite well. Uh, this is two and three quarter inches long. It's got the Thunderhawk custom scent and it's made out of ind their indestructible plastic which is basically some kind of a elastic but anyway as you can see the color of this dude and basically it's their version of the bellows gear lot I mean that's what it looked like to me I mean you got all these ribs in there you got the little tickle tail and but you can see i mean this thing the way they design that's kind of crazy uh but anyways i've heard a lot of good things about these uh so anyways i bought the small ones i wanted to try them out uh and give them a shot you know you can do a lot of things with these you free rig them texas rig it Carolina rig it, put it on the back of a jig trailer, drop shot. Uh, with these being so small, uh, you know, you could probably even Ned rig these with a big enough uh, Ned rig. And actually, an EW style, EWG style Ned rig would work really well on these. I mean, you just have to make sure that the weight was good enough to keep it down. But other than that that is it so anyways we got that we got the dual hardcore noisy jig we got the savage gear structure gill and the four inch we got the savage gear slug dragon tail slug three inch and we got two packs of their ammonianite shed we got the chase baits flaccid shed and we got the 13 fishing wobble crawl the castaic uh basically is a cb3 which is a uh, elastic kind of bait and then you got the jackal Sakashi Crawl. We got the Six Cents Stroker Crawl, the little Ned version. And then the Nicholas Trailblazer Grub. 
So let me know what y'all think. What y'all think about that order? I thought I did pretty good. I think I ordered some pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to try it out. Uh, but yeah, I think that was pretty cool. Uh, let me know what y'all think. What y'all? What was your uh, most liked bait in that order? You know, something that you've either tried already and you really liked, or something you haven't tried and you thought was really cool. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all thought. Anyways, be sure to leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all on the next one. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this box. See y'all on the next one.